My name is Matt, and I'm a traveling salesman. Sorry to be calling at night, but I'd like to share with you a collection of the finest locally produced sodas you've likely ever seen, or tasted for that matter. If you have uh, 30 minutes or so, I think you're going to really quite like what I have to share. Thank you. Just uh, give me a moment to get set up. Now. Just give me a moment. Nice to see the weather beginning to turn. It's been a cold and uh, wild winter. Floods in places that are no business uh, having floods. Ow. Just a, a little bit parched. Just a little bit. Again, my name is Matt, and I travel uh, door to door in the suburbs of uh, our fine cities, sharing with uh, my clientele some of the finest and uh, most interesting brews sodas that our fine country has to offer. Now, before we begin, I'd like to share with you my documentation. Excellent. Now, before we go any further, I'd like to share something quite interesting. Have you ever seen these before? Now, we are in the 60s and uh, industry is picking up. Thankfully, we put the war behind us and beginning to rebuild. And part of production and industry comes invention. A friend of mine has created these little cups of uh, plastic. These little cups, uh, they call them Dixie cups. Said to revolutionize the beverage industry. for me. One for you. Now, we have a very healthy selection of beverages to peruse together. And I like to take my time. Life is getting itself in a, a big old rush as it is. And it's important to take time, because if you never take time, how can you ever have time? A French businessman shared that little philosophy with me once, and I thought it was really rather insightful. Anyway, let's start off with something interesting. This is from Belvoir. It's a farm uh, 
sits on 100 acres of land and they grow all sorts it's uh, unbrewed raspberry and lemonade and of course now we're adding carbon dioxide to our beverages what is quite as interesting as it sounds, but it's a process of adding uh, fizziness, no, bubbliness to the beverage. Not all the beverages have it. And it's quite expensive to imbue into the drink, but it's, if you've never tried a sparkling beverage, it's really, um, really quite interesting. <laughs> now, let me get my old Trusted. This is handmade from the blacksmith. Lives about four miles down the road from my farm. Not required in this case. This is a screw top. Not to drink too much. Because we have quite a lot to get through and especially with the You're met with a very fruity tang. Now this is pressed lemon and raspberry. Sharp, a hint of the sour from the lemon. Now, a little bit of sugar goes in there to sweeten the palate. But what's interesting is that it's made with spring water from a natural spring on the same land that the trees are grown. And we gave it a gentle turn on the bottle because there's some fruity sediment that really adds to the experience. Um, the lemon just subtly complements that sweet raspberry. Absolutely. I can sell it by the bottle or by the case. Of course. Glad to hear you enjoyed it. Now, moving on. We can move on to the next. Now, the next, I think you are really going to like. Same farm, Belvoir farm, this time with a twist of hand picked elderflower. That's hand picked elderflower. And they lightly infuse just a little bit of lemon juice in there to keep the balance uh, interesting. Okay. The farmer that uh, produced these particular beverages actually told me that. Using uh, elderflower, but he found it can be just a little bit flat, and it was his wife that insisted trying just a little bit of lemon juice. Interestingly enough, the lemon juice was uh, almost exactly what they needed. Let me. If 
you ever need more of anything that we're sampling today, please don't hesitate to ask. And you'll notice even on the cap, it's a traditional family recipe. myself right I think I'll I think I'll love that to this side cheers now if you have never sampled elderflower before and it's Quite unlikely that you ever have because I had never seen a soda or a beverage incorporating uh, elderflower before. But mm, that is exquisite. The bubbles make any interesting any drink interesting but the elderflower adds almost an opulence to the palate now Belvoir sodas are not inexpensive but in exchange for a little extra silver you have a great return of investment Your flavor and the lemon really underpinning the whole drink. The wife was right. Many husbands would do well to recognize this fact. My wife, through coincidence or otherwise, almost always sees eye to eye on everything with myself. If I think something could better served with lemon. Chances are my wife would think the same. If my wife thinks something would be worse with lemon, chances are I'm likely to agree. That's why we married, because everything's just perfect. As marriage it should be. Now, a case of the elderflower. Of course. They return to a Martinella's beverage a little bit later on in our sampling, but even from the
and this is quite heavily carbonated, but I think, I think you're going to like it. Now almost immediately, that beautiful, sweet apple orchard washes over the tongue and your taste buds. A very sweet, but very satisfying solution. Now, Martinelli's have been operating for a hundred years at this point. They know their craft. They grow their own apples. Nothing is bought in. They own the entire process from planting to harvesting processing to bottling. Hmm. In the finish, a milky, smooth apple juice that just makes sense. It just makes for a wonderful beverage. Crispy, sweet. And again, that velvet texture. Hmm. Very impressive. As I said, we will revisit Martirelli's. We will revisit Martinelli's. They have some really remarkable, luxurious offerings as well. Now, apple juice is really rather conventional, albeit incredibly well made, but conventional. Here, I'll provide you with remedies. Now, this is something I would, I would bet you have never tasted anything even close to this. Now, this doesn't have any added sugars. It is a ginger. Depending on who you ask, kombucha is either a tea or it starts off as a, a mushroom, actually. A lot of kombucha contains, uh, or start out as a uh, mushroom fungus uh, beverage. It's allowed to ferment a little bit. And in that fermentation, uh, you can withdraw some really wonderful flavors. This is a tea, a tea that's allowed to distill and then is infused with uh, a lemon and some stem ginger. It's cloudy. you are really going to love and guarantee it. For you. senses are arrested by a bitter, 
almost sour, but decidedly satisfying flavor profile. The ginger, it runs right out of the traps. It says, here I am. How are you? Then the lemon, two or three steps behind it, comes in and says, good actually mm. that tea essence of kombucha just wraps them both up in a nice little bag and says I'm a present for the taste buds ah, really uh, I can see you're enjoying I'm very glad to hear it. Trying something for the first time for me is always uh, an interesting time. But being able to share that experience with uh, my customers, my friends, is uh, an extra blessing. Twice blessed. Now, we will move on to The double dutch soda water. Now this is just what's called carbonated water. Carbonated water. So take the freshest, cleanest spring water. It's mountain runoff. It's collected and they Use the carbon dioxide into it to give it that magical bubble. Some of our research team think that club soda could be uh, something of a, a baseline of a, a mandatory for every bar across the world now I'm not as convinced but Judge for yourself. Hear that? That is the sound of adventure waiting to happen. makes water fun, but there's nothing in it, there's no flavor, there's no profile, and my marketing team assured me that this will be used as a, a base for other beverages, for cocktails and such, and maybe it will be, maybe you can add it to uh, some orange juice or some pineapple juice to make it uh, bubbly, I guess. You want some? Of course, of course. I am happy to be wrong. We have a couple of cases at home, and I haven't quite found the need for it yet. And as a salesman, it's meant to be my job to impress upon you the need or whatever it is that I'm selling, but I much prefer the, the route of uh, transparency and honesty. And uh, I haven't found a whole lot of uses for uh, soda water, uh, club sodas, yet, but I can understand. 
understand the need for them. Excellent. Okay. Let us move on. We have three left. signature actually is uh, their two daughters Mr. and Mrs. Dutch it's their two daughters with the emblem perfectly balanced beautiful wave of uh, a very bitter lemon. Enjoy. Now, heavily carbonated as you can just about here. That is so crisp. I can see the little wrinkle in your cheeks. Very bitter, but very satisfying. Hmm. something really wonderfully enticing about a bitter lemon. Now they call it double lemon because their their carbonated lemon contains twice as much lemon juice as what they call their competitors. And I can believe them. I haven't certified that in a, a laboratory from tasting it on my own. It's beautiful. Very well balanced. Just the right amount of kick do you expect in a, a bitter lemon soda beverage. Just the right amount. Just the right amount of kick do you expect in a soda. Or any well-established beverage, for that matter. Very, very pleased to hear that. Now, the penultimate. And I return to Martinelli's. This time, with apple grape soda. 100% juice, 
from U.S. grown fresh apples and grapes. this. I'm very excited for you to try. This is their gold medal. And their gold medal line hasn't been in production for all that long. It actually started because Martinelli told me they had an exceptional harvest one year. Or rather, a quarter of the trees had an exceptional harvest. And apparently these expensive bottles have a twist top. Well, I'll be notice we don't tip for sediment here. So the sediment should sit at the bottom. I think we are both going to enjoy. Wow. Now that is exquisite. I can see the same reaction in your face. Mm. Everything that we have sampled this evening, in my humble opinion, is uh, exceptional. Record setting in our industry, in fact. But this, it sees greatness and says goodbye. Hello, perfection. The amalgamation of the grape into the apple makes for this very, very delicate blend. A harmony, if you will. A harmony that just culminates in this lovely, comforting little drink. And sometimes life just needs a simple source of happiness. Cheers. Wow. That really is quite magnificent. I'm very, very glad, so glad in fact, to see that mirrored my own Martinelli's apple and grape. Okay. Before we head to the final beverage, I'd like to share with you a little chocolate that a friend of mine had flown in these so special. Please, try as many as you like. What makes
makes them so special is that they enrich a cream We introduce a very thick, creamy chocolate before the final beverage. It's because the creamy chocolate softens any of the bubbles that we have churning around in our stomach. More than that, it prepares our palate for our final drink. Barbell's strawberry milkshake. Now this is... Let's try it. Let's just...
Thank you so much.